talked a lot about uh, change management, transition risk, and also we put a lot of info effort into onboarding training. Uh, what's the carrot here? What do they actually get from it? Um, I mean, first of all, this is all part of the efforts to make this global shipping trade green. Yeah. Um, it's not a choice. It's a compulsion. It's a regulation. Um, and then saying, okay, while complying to these regulations, do I also have a monetary benefit? Mm -hmm. And yes, definitely. So once, how can we reduce CO2 emission from the ships by reducing the fuel consumption? Mm -hmm. uh, and we don't want to reduce the fuel consumption to negatively impact the business. How can we still not have that negative impact, but use the right amount of fuel for any given uh, voyage from A to B? Yeah. And that's where these uh, solutions come in, that they will calculate for you to do the right things all the time. And if you keep doing right things all the time, you'll be at a better place. Yeah. So reducing fuel consumption, which yeah. is, of course, it has its own uh, uh, emission mm -hmm. uh, cutting benefits, mm -hmm. but it also has financial benefits. Mm -hmm. When you are optimizing your bunker intakes, mm -hmm. uh, when you are looking at the vessels, Highland machinery conditions and keeping them in ship shape condition. Yeah. You reduce uh, your fuel consumption and still get optimum speeds. Yeah. Uh, that is more of a hardcore uh, yeah. benefits. Yeah. But if you look at uh, like the, the human side of this, yeah. that it will simplify the processes because through these systems, it's not a system uh, in its own, mm -hmm. but it, it is integrating with all other systems which our users are using on the sideline because they will still be using voyage management system yeah. or uh, emission reporting systems. Mm -hmm. and, and if we connect all of them where we, we draw data from, from other systems mm -hmm. and, and then we push back the data to other systems. So yeah. that means that it's also lesser effort on the user side that they don't have to feed different yeah. systems uh, at different times. Uh, we can do it for them. It flows into one system and from there into yeah. the other systems and, and back again, you could say. A simple example could be uh, that the vessel reports, I mean, we, we are collecting a comprehensive report from the vessel, which includes uh, navigational, mm -hmm. operational, uh, machinery related data, emission data, mm -hmm. uh, the fuel consumptions and ROBs. Mm -hmm. right? So through one report, you are collecting comprehensive mm -hmm. data, which is needed at different places. Mm -hmm. So we distribute that data to wherever it is needed, yeah. including if you have a third party system mm -hmm. uh, where you need a part of this data that can also through APIs be sent to that uh, mm -hmm. third party system. Yeah. Uh, emission, there's a, a big requirement for reporting to different either regulatory or industry uh, stakeholders. Yeah. Uh, and because we are collecting that data and we are processing it, we can generate those reports and data can, through digital solutions, be sent directly to, to for example, uh, emission verifying, uh, yeah. verifiers or classification yeah. societies. So, so from a user side, you remove or we remove, help remove a lot of manual work, a lot of maybe duplicate work as well. Exactly, Time duplicate. consuming uh, work. Uh, make the data uh, more accurate from the beginning through a good uh, validation on the vessel uh, reporting side uh, so that it's not a massive burden once it's time to submit your uh, emissions reporting to uh, the IMO or to, uh, to the EU, for example. Exactly, yeah. and while reducing the risk of any human errors when yeah. you are doing uh, the repetitive work or duplicate work. Yeah, so uh, as I, if, if I were to sum this up a bit, uh, from a very sort of top uh, top level or top management level, uh, there is definitely a, an element of, of a saving money, a cost saving element through the bunker saving. There is a cost saving element that would resonate really well with a senior management, a CFO or a CEO of a company. But also from the from the user side, the operators, the ship crew, uh, we uh, find benefits, but they are maybe more related to. Uh, to making their uh, every day as easy as possible and uh, and as efficient as possible. Uh, yes, I think that, that is the, the key word here, yeah. efficiency, whether it's efficiency um, of, of uh, your human resources yeah. or efficiency of your systems. Yeah. Uh, that has to increase while still yeah. uh, keeping your business at a profitable level yeah. and, and reducing or becoming green at the same time. Yeah.
and then maybe a bit returning to the senior level, uh, they would have this compliance risk element. Are we not living up to any sort of reporting standard uh, that would uh, maybe damage them in terms of a penalty or reputational damage? And we're also assisting with that by making sure that the, the data comes in, is, is also verified and, and is uh, sort of uh, yeah, approved by the receiving end. Uh, exactly. Yeah.